Hello, I am going to show you another video about using an open number line. This time I'm going to review how to use it for subtraction and then also show, show you how to use it for addition. Um, I made another video last week uh, that was for subtra subtraction using an open number line and I'm going to show you a slightly different method this time. Uh, it's the same concept except uh, in my video before I started at the larger number and made jumps down to the smaller number and I'm just going to show you how you can do the same thing by starting at the smaller number and making jumps up to get to the bigger number. So my problem, my subtraction problem is 237 minus 62. So I'm going to start at 62 and I've got my 237 here, that's my goal, and I'm going to make jumps until I get to 237. And I'm going to record them on this number line. So if I start at 62, then I know that I can make a jump of 3 to get to 65. And then I can make another jump, um, I can make some larger jumps since I know my numbers is much larger that I need to get to. So I'm going to make a jump of 100. So that's going to be 165. And then I know that I need to make um, a few more jumps to get to 237. So I'm going to make another jump of 5 to get to 170. And then I know that 30 more units will take me to 200. And then I can easily see that 37 more jumps will take me to 237. Um, these are numbers that I just picked out of my head because I knew that I could make small jumps to eventually get to 237. And I'm going to add those jumps up at the top. So I have 100 plus 37 plus 30 plus 5 plus 3 I'm just going to add all of those up to get 175. So that would be my difference is 175. So that's just a slightly different way of doing the subtraction method. And here I have an addition problem. So we have the same number line set up. I need to start at 43, which is my um, my top number here, and I and this time the the difference is I know how many jumps I need to make, I just don't know the end point. So <clears throat> when I start at 43, I can use parts of this this bottom number to tell me how many jumps to make. So this is a pretty easy one. I'm going to start at 43, and I'm just going to jump 30 units. So I know 30 units plus 43 units, that's just something that, it, that um, I can do in my head and most students can do in their head when they're um, learning this type of math. So that puts me at 73. And then I need to add in my ones. So 73 plus seven more units is 80. So I know that my total is 80. So that's just one way to do addition with open number line. Let me show you another example really quick with some larger numbers. <clears throat> so this is a little bit larger problem. I'm going to start with my top number, 237. And I don't know what my ending number is, but I know that I need to make 182 jumps. So from 237, if I make a jump of 100, that's going to put me at 337. And I got that 100 because that's what is in my hundreds place value. Um, and then I'm going to actually break up this these tens because that will make it a little bit easier for me. I know that 70 or 7 tens will put me at the next hundreds place, so that's going to give me 407. And then I know that since I only use 7 of those tens, I need another 10 to put me at 417. So I used my tens place, and now I can just add in my ones place of 2 to get 419. 
So that's just another way of showing how to do some addition. Uh, can be helpful when you're learning how to regroup or trade or borrow um, because you don't actually have to do a lot of the regrouping here like you would see in traditional edition. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel and please check out my other uh, videos with open number lines. Thanks!